Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about how to secure your internet browser with a VPN, as well as what other tricks you need to know to ensure when you browse the internet, you're doing so anonymously. Now, just to be clear, guys, you can't be perfectly anonymous in the day and age, but there are a lot of clickbait videos saying, hey, you can't use a VPN. It doesn't make you anonymous. You can't do anything. You're just kind of fucked. And then they'll proceed to sell you VPN and various other tools, just making a clickbait video so you click on it and buy their products. Me, I'm not like that. I actually make a video that's informative, but I don't have to use clickbait. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use a combination of tools to get as close to anonymous as you can in this day and age. We're going to be looking at how to integrate your VPN into your browser successfully, how to use different browser tools to annihilate fingerprinting, cookie tracking, and stuff like that, since a lot of that stuff goes on behind the scenes and can kind of track you even with your VPN on. So let's get into it right now. Just to be clear, guys, this video is not sponsored by any VPN. No VPN is paying me to make this video. So guys, before we start the video, we need to talk about which VPN are you using? Are you looking to secure your browser with a VPN? If so, you need to pick the right one. Fortunately for you guys, I've made vpntierlist.com. Now, this is the first website of its kind. Why is that? Well, this is a website made partly by me, but also by you guys. And what the website does is it aggregates user reviews, populates VPNs by user rankings, by kind of aggregating the combined scores people submit. You can even go on the website right now, submit your own review, and it will populate and people can see it just like these ones. So you can go ahead and leave your review if you want to um, anytime you want. So guys, if you're looking for the best VPN, you could check out the community rankings or my rankings. My rankings are based on this data table where I've aggregated so many different features, specs from VPNs and so forth, and kind of rated each individual feature by a point and then combined those points overall to see which VPNs are the best. For me specifically, NordVPN is the best, but not specifically just from this data. The community also really likes NordVPN as well as ProtonVPN. Um, Surfshark is also very solid. For this video, we're going to be using NordVPN as the example. They are not paying me to make this video, but it is my top rated VPN. If you guys want to help support the channel, if you use my link for NordVPN, it's called an affiliate link. It will give you an extra month as well as a discount. Any discount they have going on, it will activate it automatically. So it's a win-win for you. I get a small cutback if you use my link. If you decide not to use my link, you don't have to. I will receive no money and there's a 30-day money back guarantee. This channel only survives with affiliate commissions. If you support the channel, people supporting the channel, trusting my reviews, that's how we survive on this channel. We don't really make any money from any ads or sponsorships. So with my link, you get an extra month. It's going to be around $80 to 28 months. That's a pretty damn good deal. Just to be sure, guys, turn off auto renewal. Use something like privacy.com or even cryptocurrency when paying after using my link. Come back here after two years. You might even be able to get a better deal because after this term, the price will increase. Most other people owned by Nord, sponsored by Nord, won't tell you that. And that's what makes this channel different. We do the real talk. So guys, let's get into the actual video itself. If you've picked the VPN, if you're using Nord VPN, what do you do next to ensure your browser is secure with that VPN provider? Well, there are actually a couple different methods. Um, there are things called proxy extensions from VPNs and Nord has one, of course. Um, basically what these do is it's like a little app or extension inside your browser. You might be familiar with extensions. Basically what you do is you just log in and it's going to automatically encrypt and hide your IP address. But your traffic is going to be um, not so much encrypted as a VPN per se. VPN is an app you install on your computer. So everything you do on your computer is going to be encrypted with a VPN. A Soxify proxy is more just going to hide your IP address. Um, it's not going to really be as good as a VPN, but a lot of people just like hiding their IP address from websites since it's a pretty good step for anonymity. They won't be able to know where your location is and stuff like that. And it is kind of convenient just to have it on your browser. So if that's something you want to do, Nord has a browser that's freely uh, extension, freely included with subscription. You just sign up for Nord and you can log in and use this on your browser. So specifically for Chrome or something like that, you can also use it on Mozilla Firefox if you want. So for most people, they're going to be using the core VPN client, and this is what it looks like. It's more of an application on a computer, like I said. So if you do connect to this near uh, Auto Connect, um, you're pretty much going to be encrypting your browser traffic as well. No one's going to be able to see your IP address, but everything on your computer as well. So the default experience most people do is just turn a VPN on. That way, when you torrent, uh, do anything on your computer, 
Um, it's going to be really good at hiding and kind of encrypting your browser, but everything else as well. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do. Um, I would say the VPN is more of the standard route, but some people do like using that proxy. Um, so why do people say that VPN is not good enough to hide your browser? Why do people say it's not going to make you anonymous while browsing? Um, well, that's because a VPN doesn't do everything. There are uh, things that VPNs do. It encrypts your internet activity. It hides your IP address. Your, your internet service provider can't see what you're doing. Uh, but there are also other things when you use the internet and you use your browser that you do leave small trails behind. For example, ads have kind of capabilities to track you with various scripts. There are cookies that get installed on your browser to make browsing more seamless. Um, and those things can be kind of linked across different websites um, and sold and kind of track you and kind of analyze you. Maybe not individually, like they might not know your name, but they'll know various collection of things about you to kind of ascertain who you are. Um, this is kind of called fingerprinting. Um, so how do you get rid of this stuff after using a VPN? Well, you're going to be wanting to use a uh, basically a, a better browser than something like Google Chrome, Internet Edge or something like that. Even the Mozilla Firefox by default, you're probably not going to want to use that either. So what do I recommending? Well, I would recommend Brave. I've been using Brave for a long time. This is a browser that basically functions in all aspects like Google Chrome, but comes built in default with privacy settings you need to use. So it's gonna make your browsing better, there's gonna be less ads, and you're gonna be more secure and private while doing so, while not even really necessarily having to mess with the VPN aspect. Now, VPN is gonna hide your IP address and encrypt your internet activity, so it's something definitely good to have on, but the browser is almost just as important for various other things. Now, when you install Brave, the good news is a lot of the stuff you need to put on is already on. So example, if you go into the sealed section of Brave browser, you can see stuff like here. Um, so the tracker and ads blocking is standard. So it's gonna block trackers and ads. Um, it's gonna automatically upgrade websites to HTTPS, which is encrypted and more secure. It blocks fingerprinting, which means it'll be harder to identify. It blocks third-party cookies. You could forget me when I close this website, so it automatically clears cookies and stuff like that. So that is a very cool feature. Um, it also has various other ways to kind of customize it. So for example, if you want to upgrade a tracker and ad blocking to aggressive or any of these features to aggressive or even block scripts, you can do so. But just keep in mind, the more of these features you turn on, the more websites might start to misbehave. The default settings are probably good for most people, and it's probably what you'll end up using since most websites are hardly affected at all by using Brave. Now, once in a while, maybe using a kind of stupid website or something like that, um, or maybe you're using a website that's having issues, in the search bar, you can actually find a little Brave icon. If you click on that icon, you could turn the shields off for individual websites that you do trust. Maybe your banking website or something like that, that might be having issues and you're pretty much gonna be able to use that website without any issues. So guys, in summary, I hope that video helped you out. If you're new to VPN, if you're wondering how to encrypt or hide your activity while using browser with a VPN, um, basically you could use those tool tools, VPN, proxy, and you make sure you're using a good browser in the first place. Remember guys, check out vpntierlists.com to check out all my rankings and reviews of VPNs. You could get some really good discounts if you click on the links on that website. I'll also be putting some links down in the description down below that will guarantee you really good discounts as well. Stay tuned for more privacy tips, tricks, and uh, guides on VPNs and everything like that. Come chat in the Discord if you want to join the community, and I'll see you again very soon.